<laughs> okay, this is a uh, very, very... Well, we're at it. That's um, chap in Port Vila, by the way. And he's doing very well. Let me just turn that down. <laughs> Sorry, I just had that uh, running. Uh, this is a uh, FT901 Delta Echo, which upside down, as you can see. Now, the Delta Echo, um, di didn't see a lot of these in Australia, to be honest. Um, and um, um, this is in actually very good condition. Uh, don't be put off by the fact that i am got a few knobs and, and covers off at the moment and bits and pieces. Anybody that's done this sort of stuff here and actually labelled and they knew this radio inside out, no question about it. And the service manual tells me with all these notes that uh, he knew exactly what he was doing. So um, there's not a lot to do on this one. Uh, transmits receive, we just put an FM board in it and um, uh, unfortunately FM receive, so this is why I'm attacking the mode selector at the moment, we'll give that a good um, uh, clean up and um, it was a bit loose anyway but uh, that's not what's causing the FM fault, um, could even be the FM board that I've, I've had as a third party board. Now the, the Delta Echo, just for your information, uh, was a um, FT901 as you can see. Uh, I've, now, someone can correct me on this. The memory unit, um, I think they came with, but I'm not 100% sure it could have been an option. Uh, but I do know the FM board was excluded, so that's why we put an FM board in. Uh, in, the, uh, in the case that um, they didn't have the memory unit, we had another one anyway, so uh, <laughs> that was uh, kind of handy. Um, thanks to my mate Bob Vico 7 rx I've got quite a few 901 spares, and he, loves on, he knows I love the 901 series, so... Um, so now we've got a, a Delta, uh, a Delta Echo and a Delta mic, and there's an FT902 sitting in some of the lineup stuff. Uh, so that's, that's kind of ni nice. Uh, at the moment, just little things to be honest to do, um, real minor. Um, oh, it'd be good if I put the VFO in first, right? Okay. Um, uh, little things like a dial light to, um, uh, to be done. Sorry, not dial light, to uh, meter light just to be done. Um, had it already on uh, 7105 and uh, yeah, no, it works, works beautifully. So um, many thanks to um, my good friend up there in New South Wales that supplied this. By the way, it came down beautifully. The packaging was fantastic. So uh, um, no, um, no issues at all. It, uh, it fired up straight away. A um, couple of little things that I do, but that's me mucking around. Um, warranty is voided from you the moment I take the screws out. <laughs> so anyway, look, no, just little things that I'm... Uh, uh, doing, I'll tell you on the uh, phone sometime. Uh, one mistake I made um, earlier, I couldn't believe. Um, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say uh, the calibrate um, uh, knob. Uh, that'll make sense. I'd f entirely forgotten about it uh, for about two seconds there, and then it, it dawned on me. Anyway, um, so we'll um, we'll see if we're, I'm, I'm going to put. As you can see, they've got a blue sort of display, so I'm thinking I might put a blue light in this just to be a little bit different. Um, so we've got a lot of 12 volt lighting. Um, just so you know, you can get these things out of China. Um, bags and bags and bags of lights you know just all different colors etc um and they're, they're working out to be i don't know cents in the dollar can't remember uh but they're not very much all right well we'll um just sort of uh do a couple of things to this one and uh, we'll come back to it okay now i was saying earlier a little bit about um just exactly how let's move this over here oh that's all right nothing like a soldering iron suddenly falling on the floor um, but uh, as you can see, oh, if I get the, that right, underneath this plate, um, everything has been labelled um, for your uh, final output stage. Um, not just um, the actual capacitor, the variable trimmers, but it's also got band for the TX final, TX drive for the receive. Um, so I love when I see these sort of radios because um, whilst you know we'll clean up a little bit of the rubbish there in the cases and clean the cases up a bit, um, this sort of stuff here stays, and um, uh, they had a little plate that fits over that. Just, but it's, it's so easy to, to quickly do a, a run through. They weren't difficult, you know, over overall anyway. But this this does make it simple. You don't even have to grab your manual for this one. It's uh, it's really an easy one. Just feed your signal in, and uh, have a look at the receive, and then uh, tweak your output, and uh, follow the follow the instructions. All right, uh, anyway, we're just slowly but surely getting through a few things and tweaking a few bits, and it's just coming up better and better all the time. So, uh, And it wasn't bad to start with, I must make the point. Okay, we'll come back to you soon. Okay, so if you um, uh, got a um, 901 and you've um, got a light bulb that's out, as you can see from this picture, we need to take the meter out of these. And so the deal is... 
pull out the um, carrier unit board that sits across this section, pull out the FM unit if that's fitted in there. Um, do yourself a very quick little mud map of just what wire went where. And if we just crack this open, you'll see exactly. I'll just put this down for a second before you concentrate on a, an edge socket. <laughs> but as you'll see, um, there are two bulbs in there that, uh, that die. As you can see, my fan is running in the room. And um, um, now, you, sometimes you've got to check. It can be a supply issue to those, those bulbs. Look, I, regardless, I rip them, out, rip them out and put LEDs in and just do a separate uh, feed, 12 volt feed to the uh, 12 volt LEDs. And, uh, but yes, um, so basically to, to get that out, it's, it's a couple of screws on the top here um, to get the meter assembly. And that's a meter assembly piece just there. Uh, that just has a couple of nuts that holds the meter on from the back here, one and uh, two. Then pull your meter out like such, pull the front plastic cover off, and uh, there's no need to undo any of these back sections here. Um, they're, they're fine. Um, you'll, uh, you'll be able to get uh, through to those. Just use your multimeter and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so anyway, that's um, just another little part of this uh, one where um, it's a little bit of fun. Um, the... Um, the 901s are such a classic that you just have to um, uh, you have to fix these little things because they just they look so good. And I'm going back on what I said before. I, I said I might put blue in there, but <laughs> that would be a mistake um, because every other um, every other accessory that goes to the 901 series uh, has um, uh, a very cream sort of lit. Um, it's just a, a, a dull sort of globe that's in there, but. Um, We'll probably have to do, we'll have a look at using some diffused um, uh, white LEDs and see how they come up. Anyway, that's just a little bit more on the 901 that um, as we're sort of playing around. As I said, there's no, no major problem. I've just got a bit of a night free and I thought, well, I'll, um, this, this one came in um, with huh, all of this gear, by the way. Um, and um, there's quite a bit that came in the last few days and I've just got to get through it all. And... Uh, uh, bring on this new room that's sort of happening out here. It's it's getting there. First bit of jip rocks up, but anyway. All right, I'll uh, carry on and um, hopefully give you a finished example of uh, what it looks like when it's got a globe in it. Okay, so what you end up with um, is you'll be changing a couple of things. Um, these two points, whoops, sorry. Uh, these two points here, uh, there's a big capacitor that goes across there with... Um, um, from memory a black and a blue wire and that's that's actually for your um, meter itself uh, the signal meter what you end up doing is um, turning this into a common up uh, because I put two LEDs in there so you common up this this will become your positive this will become your negative um, and then your source 12 volts um, actually I've just got to check the voltage in there uh, that comes off the original spot um, but uh, that may be substantially higher so we'll just find a, t a 12 volt tap off point to um, bring them in there so um, look the the LEDs are a little bit tight when you get them in um, uh, they um, uh, they certainly you know fit in quite okay but um, uh, you'll see when I go to um, uh, put it in the radio and light it up that uh, yeah, it certainly lights it up <laughs> uh, one one won't work unfortunately one will give you a very one-sided there's no way to fit it in the middle so you will we'll, we'll need to put two um, little 12 volt LEDs in there um, just as a, a mention um, we use these um, Chinese LEDs look the only reason we use them is they cost us you know like cents in the dollar they're already pre-wired with a resistor ready to go red and black and they're all in then those bags there um, there's red orange blue green and white so uh, for the, the price that they are it's not even worth you know sitting there playing around with resistors and bits and pieces all right so we're going to put this back together and um, start uh, you know having a little bit more than holes in the front there uh, and uh, it'll be um, a very whitish sort of um, glow on the yellow, which is um, still really, you know, not really the incandescent look that you probably would have been used to. But um, actually, it looked pretty funky when I did it, and I thought, oh, that'd be all right. I was, I was nearly going to put the incandescents in there, but I thought, now nah, let's go for something a little bit brighter. So I definitely, you won't have a problem seeing the meter. All right, let me just put that back in, and we'll show you how that works. Okay, well, I've, I've cheated just a little bit just to finish this video off. Otherwise, I'll be sitting here playing around for um, hours trying to keep this phone working. Um, I'm using a really comprehensive video system calling my uh, call, my Note 9 uh, phone does the job. 
Anyway, as you can see, lots of brilliance and light there, which looks a lot better than it did before. And a um, slight little bit of shadowing with it, with um, just the way the bulbs um, uh, actually throw their light out. So when you're trying to fit them in there, and they're really a tight fit, um, try to have them both pointing up exactly the same direction. If you have one on its side and then one up, let's say, um, that is going to cause light to go everywhere and cause massive shadowing. So anyway, um, that'll do for the... Uh, for the night, it's um, I don't know what time it is, but uh, it's oh, about 8:30, I suppose. And uh, it's been fun having a bit of a play with this uh, 901 Delta Echo, which you won't see one of those every day of the week, I suppose. Um, but um, we've got it all tuned and and running really well. Just really just a matter of putting some covers back on it. We may do a final sort of video of the whole thing back in one piece. But uh, I've got to tell you, it's a really nice radio. So. Um, uh, you know who you are that sent it to me. Thank you. By the way, thank you for the donation to the uh, uh, the other museum parts too. I really appreciated those. That was great. But um, uh, this has been a pleasure to sort of just get a couple of little things on this sorted. Um, and uh, they're so minor, it's not funny. All right. Um, just remember, if you um, need to replace globes at any stage on the FT 101E, uh, sorry, 101ZDs, 901Ds, uh, DMs, etc., um, you need to be very very careful getting that meter out and putting it back in um, and obviously the meter movement once you've got that black pla uh, sorry the uh, clear plastic off the front um, be very very careful not to knock that needle or uh, do any damage there um, it should be a very simple job trust me it's a little more than simple because of the fact that um, what you're trying to fit in there uh, physically just fits so uh, putting a couple of LEDs in there but it will fit um, if I could do it anyone can do it so um, that won't be uh, too much of a problem okay well 73s from VK3CM and um, if you're playing around with any of these series radios um, drop me an email if you've got any problems um, we've sort of done a few faults on these things now uh, but uh, always happy to try and help okay 73s cheers all the best <laughs>